In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a one beautiful animation in Figma and export that directly to your Android Studio as a Loti animation. So as you can see here in this case, we have one beautiful background image, which is uh, infinitely uh, rotating in our application and it fills the whole screen, even uh, behind the status bar and behind the navigation bar. Also, you can notice here that uh, our button is also animating along the way. So we are animating our button from yellow to green and vice versa. So be sure to watch this video if you want to learn how to achieve that. Okay, so the first thing we are going to start with Figma. So uh, at this point, as you can see, I have uh, only one background image that I'm going to use for this animation. And if you're wondering uh, where did I get that uh, background image, uh, well, there is one website which is called midjourney.com. So here you can just uh, log in and go to this uh, website and from there you can uh, open up this explore tab and just uh, type a simple term for which you want to search a certain uh, background image. In this case I have decided to go with a uh, healthy food and down below we can see all bunch of different uh, uh, images that were generated by the AI. So a mid journey is basically an AI which allows uh, different users to uh, type different prompts and generate uh, those uh, beautiful images as well. In this case, I have already decided what kind of uh, image I want to use for this project, so this one. Uh, the next thing we need to create here a new frame for our uh, mobile device. So let's press uh, A on our keyboard and let's choose here, uh, for example, Android large um, uh, frame size. Okay, so this one. We can just name this uh, Android. The next thing I'm going to place this image within this frame. Okay. Let's now uh, decrease the size of this image to uh, fit this um, this height of this frame, right? So, okay, it looks uh, very nice. Now, the actual animation that we're going to make here uh, will be for rotating this uh, whole background in a 360 degree. So if I now hold down control and select this uh, background image, and I now hold down the shift to rotate this image, uh, then you will see that um, once I try to rotate this image, then we are going to see here this uh, white uh, background of our actual frame, which means that before we actually uh, create this animation, we need to increase the, the height of this image a little bit more to hide this uh, background. So uh, I'm going to now just increase this uh, height of this image a little bit. So for example, something like that. Let's now try to uh, rotate that uh, image. And now as you can see, we can freely uh, rotate this image. Uh, without any uh, white space from the background. Now, the next uh, thing, I'm going to also create one uh, black overlay on top of this image because uh, this image will also contain some other different elements like the text elements and the button. However, those uh, text elements and that button uh, will actually be not a part of this animation, so only this image and one uh, black overlay that I'm going to create right now. So just press R on your keyboard, create one rectangle to fit the size of this uh, actual uh, frame. Now choose here a black color, uh, choose here 50% of the opacity of this uh, black color. And we can also name this layer uh, to be an overlay, okay? And now that we have uh, created this uh, first frame that contains uh, this uh, background image and this uh, overlay, now I'm going to uh, select this uh, whole frame once again and open up the plugin, which is called uh, NINX. So let's uh, press this arrow from here and let's choose uh, export uh, prototype, okay? We can also use this uh, other different um, uh, button, but nevertheless, let's just press here export. And now a new uh, window uh, or actually new tab will appear in our web browser. And from there, we want to create that animation, okay? So this point, as you can see, we don't have any animation. I'm going to now click this open in editor button. So this is a plugin which will allow us to basically animate uh, and convert our animation into a, a Loti JSON animation file. So at the moment I'm going to here specify uh, 40 seconds, the length of our animation, right? Uh, the next thing I'm going to choose here the background. So this is the background image, right? I'm going to now go to this um, uh, one second point. Let's just increase that to a 40. So this uh, whole animation will last for a 40 seconds and as a um, zero second for our background, I'm going to choose here this uh, angle or a rotation keyframe. So now select and add this uh, keyframe. So at the beginning, our image will have a zero degree of a rotational angle when we start this animation. And when we end this animation, this uh, angle will be 360. Okay. 
and now if I uh, try to go here as you can see okay so we need to uh, modify one more thing so let's select this uh, whole background and specify this pivot point to be on the center and now whenever we uh, rotate this uh, um, background image as you can see it will rotate for a 360 degree quite easily and that's how we can easily create uh, an animation with a low T okay let's just increase that to the 40 seconds okay and we can also press this play button to see how this animation will actually play so this animation will last for uh, 40 seconds and it will rotate this image from a zero degree to a 360 okay there you go and now what we can do let me just pause this uh, this actual animation now we are going to export this uh, whole animation as a loti json file so let's here choose a uh, loti so dot loti and click uh, export so now we have received here a new file i'm going to rename this file to say a uh, background and we can just uh, copy this uh, same file into our uh, android studio project so in this case i have already done that so we already have that uh, a background json file which does represent a loti animation and uh, the next thing let me just um, open up here this main screen so i have already placed here uh, one column that contains uh, two text elements and a uh, one button and now i want to also add uh, basically that uh, loti animation so inside this uh, box those uh, two text elements and this uh, button will be placed uh, on top of our background so now let's create our loti animation so the first thing we need to create a composition variable and there we need to call a remember uh, loti composition and as a parameter here i need to pass um, a loti composition spec dot a row resource and then here i need to paste that resource so uh, r dot row dot a background there you go after that i'm going to create here one more variable named a uh, progress i'm going to call here by uh, animate a loti composition as a state as a composition i'm going to pass this composition dot a value actually uh, because i haven't used here a uh, by keyword anyhow nevertheless let's continue the second parameter here will be uh, iteration so i want to basically uh, make this animation uh, an infinite animation which means that uh, this uh, wallpaper will uh, rotate uh, all over again once it reaches the end state of uh, 40 seconds so let's just here call a uh, loti constants dot uh, iterate forever and after that we can call that the loti composable function so let's call here a loti animation specify the composition as a progress just specify this uh, progress so here composition dot value actually there we go and i'm going to specify here a modifier so that uh, our animation can fit the whole uh, screen size so just call here fill maximum uh, size there we go and now i'm going to launch the application okay so before i open that um, application in android emulator let me just show you the gradle build file so here i have only one dependency for uh, a loti compose there you go and in our main activity here i have called this uh, window set flags to flag layout no limits so that uh, our main content uh, or actually the content of our application can fit uh, even behind the status bar and behind the navigation bar as well okay and there you go so this is how our animation uh, now looks like so on top of this wallpaper we have uh, uh, those uh, uh, two text elements and this uh, button there you go and our animation is actually working uh, quite good now the last uh, thing that we need to uh, also add here is the animation of the button color that uh, will be triggered along with this uh, uh, background animation as well okay so for that purpose let's just uh, go back to our uh, project here and here i'm going to create uh, one variable named uh, infinite transition and then i'm going to call here remember infinite transition now after that we need to create uh, one variable named the color and this color will be actually animated so let's just here call by uh, infinite transition dot uh, animate uh, color now as an initial value here i'm going to specify a yellow color and as a target value i'm going to specify a green color and if you open up the color uh, kotlin file you will see that here i have specified the two custom colors a yellow and green and those two colors will animate uh, from one to another and vice versa with this animation right here so uh, let's specify here the animation spec which should be an infinite uh, uh, repeatable here as an animation parameter we need to pass a duration so i'm going to call here a tween duration can be maybe let's say uh, five seconds the easing can be uh, so the easing can be linear easing maybe okay 
And the second parameter here is a repeat mode. So as a repeat mode, I'm going to specify here uh, a reverse so that this uh, color can uh, basically animate from yellow to green and from green to yellow. And that uh, animation will basically uh, last uh, infinitely. And this uh, color will now uh, need to be specified on our button. So I'm going to comment out this uh, code. So uh, in our button here, we have passed the colors parameter and there we have specified the container color, okay? So now let's uh, launch this application once again and we should be able to see the new color of our button that uh, should animate from yellow to green uh, in a 5 seconds uh, of animation. So this animation will last for 5 seconds and then uh, it will repeat itself in a reverse order so from yellow to green and from, gre and from green to yellow in a 5 second uh, animation. So now as you can see we have a uh, 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 we have implemented that uh, Loti animation successfully along with this uh, infinite color animation in our uh, application with the Jetpack Compose. And there you go, so uh, be sure to comment down below and uh, let me know what you think about this uh, whole animation. Also uh, comment down below uh, if you want to see some more interesting animations uh, with uh, Figma and uh, Loti. And of course be sure to like this video but only if you find it helpful. For this video that will be all. I'm a legend when they lay me down to rest